Hello, Dr. Grind, Godfather, HR3, come to the studio, please. It's time to go live. Five, four, three, two, one. Mission. And good morning, golfing world. George Honeycutt, the godfather, with me as always. My two brothers from two different mothers, HR3 and Mr. Al Cloy. Hey, y'all doing? <laughs> well, look, Ma, I'm on TV. This could get ugly quick. I'm going to make you hurl before the day's over with. What's your issue here? I smell vermin poon tang. You got to love it. I oh, mean, you know, if, if, you get, if y'all are not entertained <laughs> out there. You know, I've often thought of becoming a golf club. You need to go see Al Cloy. I noticed your grips were worn, sir. I should have mentioned to you before. I, I could put some stick on there for you. It's my fault. No, you want to know who you oh, go? No, no, no. <laughs> I'm going to give you the expertise. Hey, I should have stayed home and played with myself. No, you got to finish, <laughs> no, dude. No, no, no. you no, got to finish. No. You're doing it. I ain't touching here. it. Nope. Here. No, here. I ain't touching here. it. Nope. Here. Your nope. wife is one of the more beautiful women in the world. I have no argument there. She yeah. is You outpunted your coverage. What's your issue here? I'm not a professional. Right. I stayed at a Holiday Inn Express last night, <laughs> but I'm not a professional. You think this is a soap opera or something? Give me a set of those, a pair of those, and a box of those, and let me have some of those naked lady tees. Moving on. I am the same. Um, what's your issue here? You're doing it. I ain't touching here. it. Nope. Here. No, here. I ain't touching here. it. Nope. Here. Nope. Good try. How many breaths do you think you're going to need when you die? One. Quit wasting them. Yeah. Because you realize you are going but I'm round and to around. But good air. Yeah, you're trying to provide good air, but you're That's you're right. answering your own questions. Well, if you jump in and talk, well, I'm, I'm just letting you lay the lay the groundwork because I'm you telling said you. The rest of the show was mine. It was, it. but I mean, I don't want you to have a heart attack because I ain't giving you ugly ass mouth to mouth. Al, I'll do it. Cannibal, cannibal coming. Broadcasting from North Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. This is TGD today, and now please welcome Hero the Third, HR Three. Al Cloyd, Dr. Grind, George Honeycutt, The Godfather. Hey, everybody, we're all going to get laid. You're doing it. I ain't touching here. it. Nope. Here. No, here. I ain't touching here. it. Nope. Here. Nope. Good try. And good morning, golfing world. Welcome to TGD Today. It is the roundtable with George Honeycutt and Hugh Roy III. And we've got a very special guest with us today. And I hope Jeff behind the glass is tweeting this out. We've got Mr. Adam Levine in the house. <laughs> Adam um, Levine. Unreal. How about that? Yeah. Adam, welcome to the show. Thank you for having me, George. Well, yeah. goodness. Adam, Adam can play golf, dude. He can play. So can George. He, he took me. Oh, no. Shh, dude, shh, dude, stop, shh. stop stop kissing his butt. He can't play dead in an old Western movie. Don't even go there. Oh, me. What's up, dude? Now, HR3. Happy birthday to you. We got one more day, so Happy don't push birthday it. One more day. One more Happy day. Happy birthday. Yeah. Hugh, baby. Yeah. Happy birthday. Hey, dude. Happy birthday. Thank you. Yeah. 51. Tomorrow. You're old, dude. I know. Man, you're pushing it. How did you end up with such a good-looking young wife? Huh? I really can't explain that. Trickery. Trickery. Sleight of hand. No doubt about it. We have been told we have to behave on the air. Who? You and I. Or yeah, Mr. Gilder. Well, I know that. I'm just wishing you a happy birthday, dude. Thank you. Yeah. So, you excited? No. So, what he's saying is his reason is not G-rated. Yes. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> Well, our new carriers of the show and all that, we're, you know, we're going to we millions to and millions and millions. We have to behave. Yeah, we have been sent the notice, haven't we? Mm. Adam from New York, welcome. Yes. Been in the Myrtle Thank Beach you. area for a couple months. Have Come down. Been. Yeah. So we're in New York? Long Island. Right in the Long Island from Belmore. Okay. But Adam has a new job, Hugh. Really? He's been, uh, he was recently hired by Old Oaks. Okay. In New York. Okay, nice. And so he'll be starting there April 1st? Yes, that right? exactly. So Adam, uh, Adam is a new recent listener and viewer of the network, and um, I see him out at Barefoot every morning. He is bright and early, kicking the frost off the, uh, the grass or whatever, 
And Dude, he's, this is a, he's a dew sweeper. There's no doubt about it. This is dumber, summertime for him. Yep, he's a dew sweeper. And he gets out there and works and works and works and works. Good. Put him in a new driver lately, just recently. But it was Love a it. Callaway. Yes. Big <laughs> Bertha, 815. Only George. <laughs> Dude, he hit them all. He hit them all. And he chose the cow. I mean, it's just taking off. Sweet. Just rocketing off. Good Got a stuff. good shaft for it. So, yep, good player. Enjoy having you, Adam. Thank just, you. Just pipe in anytime you want. Dude, hey, hey. Good luck, by the way. Yeah. Piping in. Yeah. Thanks. Wow. He's in a mood today. I'm I, I'm wishing him happy birthday, folks. He's in a mood. Whatever. Okay, so Tiger makes his announcement yesterday. This is my one and only thing for the round table. Okay. He makes his announcement, which pretty generic, pretty standard, kind of what it was expected. Yeah, I'm going to take some time. I'm not going to come back till I'm tournament ready the key words that he used. Mm-hmm. And, uh, of course, then he goes and gets on an airplane and flies out to watch Lindsay ski immediately. So it's not like he's getting onto his game and working on it. So he's getting onto something, but it ain't his golf game. Well, so. you know, it, give him a chance. He's still recovering. He said he's going through his therapy, you know, and, and stuff for his, his glutes or whatever happened. And uh, It's going to take months for him to learn how to reactivate and fire the glutes. It's well, called GMDS, gluteus maximus deactivation Yeah, I know. Syndrome. I got your deal the other day. Deactivation oh, syndrome. Yeah. But gluteus I mean, maximus. You know, it, I think that you know, a lot of people are talking and projecting. You know, they're hoping he'll be back at Honda. Um, uh, but, I mean, it's just going to take some time, like we talked about the other day, George. And, you know, we said in, in the show that, that I did, you know, that – Honda's only a couple he, of weeks away. He, dude. He's got he's got to get back to practicing golf and and quit getting so technical with these machines and just you know go out and figure your golf swing out again. I mean he it looks so mechanical and out of control because it's all about numbers and it's not about feel and, and hitting golf shots. Right. You know I mean golf is about knowing what you're going to do with it, and he's got no idea. So you know I think it's a smart thing. Take a leave of absence. Go practice. Get your game in shape. We've seen we've Get seen we've seen some real interesting comments made by Tiger just over the last couple of weeks, like his chipping references. Uh, he didn't quite know with this new swing. He didn't quite know where the bottom end of the swing was. Well, that's because his hands are too close to his wrist. But that's a personal problem. I but mean, that, he's that's my get, issue. You got to get out. You're and saying practice. Tiger's got the same well, issue as me. Obviously, it's the same chips you do. Really? <laughs> <laughs> Believe it or not, folks. I do believe that I'm a better chipper than Tiger is. Right now, I have to agree with you. But, I mean, he's – it's just – it's like I said, George, it's just about putting the time in. You yeah. Know, going out, sweating, hitting golf balls, chipping, putting, doing what you got to do, and get back to like it was when, you you know, you were a kid. And and I, I see that you're going with the same viewpoint that I have, is not putting the time in the gym, not putting the time in doing – going out and running 26 miles. No. Is – Getting back out with that golf club in your hand and getting to that field. Starting up getting, from sun up to sundown, hitting balls, chipping, putting, playing, hitting, you know, two or three balls a hole, doing stuff to where you get back into your mind frame of I've got to hit this particular shot or I'm trying to do this with a golf ball and continue to try to do it until you accomplish that feat. I mean, do you agree, Adam? A hundred percent. Playing out of the dirt. Absolutely. I mean, that's the only way you're going to get it back. Yeah. I mean, it's all got to be feel. Obviously, if you – you're sculling and shanking chips you don't have any feel in your hands right and that's where you've got to have it come right from. And, right and you know it just i don't know you look at him putt and i mean the guy looks like he couldn't putt it in a 50 gallon drum right and so you know it's just to me it's it's putting the work in i think tiger's 39 years old guys that doesn't matter the guy's he in has, better shape he, than 90 percent of the people well, around he but, is he is dude but i'm saying i'm saying because of his workout his physical regimen and all that He's worn himself out. Well, he's worn out. Maybe now I, I'm not. I'm gonna argue with you there, George. I don't think he's worn himself out. I just think he's gotten lazy from the standpoint of relying too much on TrackMan, FlightScope, whatever they use, and worried about numbers and trying to create specific positions instead of getting some basic positions and things you want to do in your golf swing and to get your angle of attack the way you want it. And how do you do that? through feel and through drills and through practicing mm-hmm. not just standing there and li- looking what what did you say that time you know what's the machine no it's not the machine's going to tell you what you need to know and if you're doing it right it's going to give you the numbers you're looking for well we pretty much come to the consensus you use the machines to really dial in your equipment to find out if you if the equipment is working for you but then from there on 
take the machines and throw them out the door. Absolutely. Get out there with the, those big buckets of balls and hit them and hit them and hit them and work on your pace and your timing and get some feel and get your timing back to where you, you, know, you don't feel like you have to go try to nuke it or flip it or block it and hold it off to try to get it in a fairway. You can mm-hmm. actually swing the golf club and let it be a fluid motion to where you can hit a, a good golf shot. So in his statement, he refers to the Honda Classic. He would uh, very much like to get back for that event. In, in his comments, uh, basically, I will read a uh, paraphrase here. Right now, I need a lot of work on my game. Still need to spend time with the people that are important to me. My play scores are not acceptable for tournament golf. Like I've said, I enter a tournament to compete at the highest level. When I think I'm ready, I'll be back. Next week, I will practice at medalist and at home, getting ready for the rest of the year. I am committed to getting back to the pinnacle of my game. I'd like to play the Honda Classic. It's a tournament in my hometown, and it's important for me, but I won't be there unless my game is tournament ready. That's not fair to anyone. I do, however, expect to be playing again very soon. So, does he make it back for Augusta? Uh, yes. Yeah. Okay. He won't miss that one. So, does he come back... Not not make the Honda Classic. Does he does he go ahead and play in a couple of those Florida events play leading Bay up Hill, to Augusta? Maybe Bay Hill if it's not the Honda. Maybe Bay Hill. It may be something else. But before Augusta, he's got to play something competitive to be sharp enough to be ready to go. I mean, that's just right. You're not just going to walk into something and play well. Right. I mean, they rust is rust, and and people are tired of hearing it. But yeah, if you don't play anything, you've got no chance. Adam, being a younger guy, uh, much younger than. Um, the old guy here and, and me, but um, what's your, what's your opinions of Tiger? Where do you where do you see Tiger? I mean, is he I, the is he the world's best golfer that's ever lived? There's no doubt about it. But I do believe he should go and play Bay Hill, get some confidence back before mm-hmm. he gets back out mm-hmm. there, especially mm-hmm. coming up to Augusta. Do you think the Tiger should continue with his strength and mechanics and building out? And I mean, Tiger body wise, I mean, I'd love to have his body, dude. So I mean, no I. doubt about it. I mean, the dude's pumped. But, you know, you can build so much muscle, and then at a point it's going to get to a point where you're wearing down your body so bad that it can't keep up with the actual profession that you're doing. Mm-hmm. Well, I think it's got to be more of flexibility now and mobility. Yeah. You know, yeah. And, and that's – I think if he works on that, I think he'll be fine. He just – you know, you look at it, and, I mean, it just looks so – manipulated mm. you know there's no no forced. fluidity to mm-hmm. it so forced yeah there's no yeah. there's it, it's like it's almost like he's going through the motion well, would you it, say it's like a river coming down and all of a sudden there's a big boulder in the middle of it and it diverts it you know that's mm-hmm. kind of what his golf swing looks like mm-hmm. you know it start, goes back and all of a sudden coming down it's like okay which way is it going this and time? is that boulder his mind uh, well it, it's his mind it's his body um but yeah his mind because he's like i said he's gotten so technical mm-hmm you know, he, he's trying to hit a position instead of swinging and feeling. And he's lost touch with the game. Become a natural athlete, basically, is what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. Get back to being an athlete. Well, we know that athletes, as they get older, they cannot perform to the peak levels that they saw when they were younger. Michael Jordan, perfect example. Jack Nicholas, uh, Palmer. Jack Nicholas, everybody. They, but you learn to adapt your game to where you're at so you can still perform, shoot scores, and play and compete. Right. Mm-hmm. I mean, Mr. Nicholas won at, what, 46 years old? He won the Masters. Mm-hmm. I mean, he didn't hit it on the par fives and doing, you know, he hit a couple, right. but I yeah, mean, he, he wasn't, yeah, he did. you know, and the guy went out and won the Masters, made some putts. I mean, yeah. it's about playing the game like we talked about the other day. All that matters is that number goes in that box and what's at the end of the box in the, in That's the right. final score. I would agree. That's all that matters. Tiger Tiger has really, I mean, Noda Begay made the statement a couple of weeks ago at the Phoenix Waste Management that, well, Tiger's swinging – as good as he has been swinging in years. He's back up to 124 club head speed. No, 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 He can't hit a fairway. He can't do anything. And, again, he hurts his back. Uh, last year and the year before when he was swinging at 115, 113, 114, he wins five times. All right, here's the thing. and I'm, gonna, I'm going, Jeff, I'm going to a, uh, a movie quote. Okay. You ever see the movie Days of Thunder? Yeah. Tom Cruise? Yeah, mm-hmm. Robert Duvall. Yep. Racing movie. Yeah. 
when Tom Cruise first comes up on the team and all that, and he's driving, he's wrecking, and this, that, and the other, and they take him to the track, mm -hmm. and he says, you're going to drive 50 laps my way, mm -hmm. or your way, and then you're going to do it 50 laps my way. Mm -hmm. Well, he let him drive his way. Mm -hmm. Came in, looked at the tires, they're worn out. He goes, tight is slow, loose is fast, but out of control. Mm -hmm. Well, at 124 miles an hour at 39 years old, he's tight and he's out of control. Mm -hmm. And young, long, the earlier Tiger was loose, very fast, out of control, but he could maintain it. So, like Robert Duvall says, the combination is finding right in between there, between loose and tight, and what's fast and mm -hmm. yet in control. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Some of yours, some of mine. That's the adaptation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's what he's got to learn to do. Mm -hmm. We remember Tiger back in the days in the early 2000s when he was winning everything. Mm -hmm. And we used to sit behind a microphone, I did at least, and – You'd say, wow, you know, Tiger's got to get it out of his head, you know, figure out if he's going to hit a fade or a draw. Is he going to hit this one low or hit this one high? Or, you know, we watch shots like a four iron out of a bunker from 230 out and he sits it to five feet, you know. We had those conversations back then. Why doesn't he just hit a straight ball? And now he's just trying to hit the ball. And are we at the end of the era? Are we at the end? Well, it's like I said the other day. I mean, if he – continues along the lines he's going where it's so technical and it's so based off of track man or whatever he's using yes he's done yeah and if he gets back to where he becomes a natural athlete and plays the game because golf is a game we will see tiger woods win again and we will see him win a major he may not break the record but i got a feeling if he'll get back to being an athlete he's got a chance i think we can forget about the record i, I think you you're know. right but i think there's a chance if he can get the right people around him to say, look, let's get more into you playing the game and hitting golf shots. And having fun again. And I, I Having think, fun I again. think it could very easily happen. I really do. Yeah. I really think it could. I, I, he's I that good. Does. He's that good. I mean, you know, lucky enough, I, you know, we were rookies and stuff and together, and I got to play with him. And what the guy can do with a golf ball is it's – you can't even comprehend it. Right. Right. And and he doesn't do that anymore mm -hmm. because it's so about perfection. Golf's a game of imperfection. Mm -hmm. You know, it's not a game of perfection. So, if he gets back to being an athlete, I think he's got a shot. I really do. Well, but if he doesn't, I think it's it's Katie bar the door. You might as well just go ahead and slam it. So, Hugh, are we in this time frame now? 2015. Is this the make or break? period in his career i i would have to say this is it this is he's at that let's, pivotal let's point. say let's say he comes back let's say he comes back honda bay hill wherever he he let's say he even makes a cut which is i think the, the a huge pinnacle in itself yeah i, I think that's the main goal if he moment. just plays on the weekend that'll be huge yep you know much less be in contention but let's say he does that and then he goes to augusta uh, you know, multi-time champion, na 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 his backyard, whatever you say. He shoots 82-76. He, he's almost like, you know, the invited past champions, and, you know, they can't make it around any more than less than 80. I mean, does, does he call it quits? Is that the humiliation that takes him over the edge to where he just says, I'm done. I think it's a possibility, George, but I think that you get to a certain point like that, too. It could turn around the other way and totally flip and just literally burn in his gut to the point to where I'm going to figure this out and get this to where I can play again. So it's going to take another dramatic experience for him to wake it could, up? I mean, it could. I mean, he I'm hasn't not, I'm had not, enough of those I'm over the last year and a half? But, Parts, I'm not saying that if he did that, that he would say, okay, I'm done, I'm quitting. I just think it could it could be something that could change things. I mean, he may be already, by but, going and practicing, he might be able to do that now. I'm just saying. It, HR, if he keeps the same people around, you mentioned this several times, yeah. he needs to get the right people around him. Yes. If he keeps these same people, I don't care how many – catastrophic events he goes to it's not going to have any effect as long as they allow him to keep control of 
his emotional standpoint with the game of golf. I, you're right. You're dead right. He's got he's got to make some changes, and he's got to get get the people around him that are willing to hold him accountable. He doesn't need yes men anymore. No, he needs people that will hold him accountable. That's right. Butch did that. Butch did that. To a point, yeah. And I, his and dad I, did it. His dad did it. Since his dad is, has died, that's yeah. when things have kind of gone turned the other way. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Mm-hmm. With his personal and his career. Yeah. I mean, his dad. Yeah. I mean, his dad had a leash on him. Yeah. Yeah. There's no and, doubt and about honestly, it. Honestly, I think Lindsay needs to put a leash on him and say, "This is the way it's going to be, Hoss." Yeah. I I just don't see her doing that. I mean, well, I don't either. But I mean, yeah. I think that if she did something like that, I think he'd listen to her. Maybe. I mean, if he's willing to get on, what about make mom? an announcement like that, and what about mom? And eh, mom, I'm, I'm I'm surprised mom hadn't done it. I don't know. I I, I never was around her much, so I really couldn't answer yeah. that question. Yeah. Oh well. Um, you know, he's got the kids. He wants to spend time with them and things of that sort. And he is 39 years old, guys. I mean, yeah, he could continue playing sporadically, play 10 events a year, well, he's win play one, 15 to stay a member. Well, yeah. I mean, do do they make him a special member? No. I mean, you know, he's they Tiger Woods. It dude. doesn't matter. To, trust me, Tim Fincham. Things going. things aren't rules aren't going to change for Tiger. No, he, as he Tim Fincham's the dictator, and that's the way it'll stay. Should they go ahead and put Tiger in the Hall of Fame? Oh, no question. No question. Okay. How do you not? The guys won what, well, seventy nine golf tournaments. Mickelson's in, still participating. So. Do they go ahead, or has Tiger been blocking that? Well, I think you've got to get to a certain age before they'll put you in. Don't you have to be 40? or Maybe maybe 40. I think at 40. Once he turns yeah. 40, he'll be in first ballot, done, end of story. Yeah. I mean, yeah. the guy's won 79 tournaments and emptying majors. I mean, it, there's no question about it. Uh, well, 10 years from now, as we're sitting here still doing this show, uh, we'll be talking then about does he play the Champions Tour. So and that'll be the next And he will be about ready to turn 61. That's right. That's right. <laughs> and I'll be 112. Nine one one. You'll just be walking around with the defibrillator bag, just waiting for me to fall. Hey, I turned sixty last month, and I can remember fifty one like it was yesterday. I, I mean, I'm turning fifty one. I don't feel fifty one. Really? I, I don't like I, yesterday. Really? What'd I don't. You, what'd you do yesterday, Mister Gilder? I can't remember that. I, but I can remember fifty one. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, Adam, thanks for joining us here on the round table. Thank you for having yeah, me. Uh, you just you talked way too much, dude. <laughs> Next time we need to hold it down a little bit, okay? So I got to try to get some airtime. <laughs> <laughs> you know, for a New York Yankee, and he, he pretty quiet. That's that's he is. That's impressive. He is, but he also is a very nice young man. So well, what's he doing, hanging man. out with you? I I didn't say he was hanging out with me, dude. I'm just set up some golf for him. Okay, that's all. Yeah, okay. So HR, happy birthday, brother. Thank you, bud. Love you, man. Appreciate it. TGD Radio and TV are produced and broadcast by the Zeus Radio Network for thegolfdirector.com. When visiting the Golf Director, please be sure to navigate over to our featured course pages where you'll find up-to-date information about course conditions, specials, and much, much more. Hey, if you need help with your next golf vacation, just give us a call here at the Golf Director. You can just call Dave at 844-GO-GOLF-1. That's 844-464-6531. All of our TGD programming is archived for listening and viewing on demand. To catch up on any show you may have missed, just click on the TGD radio or the TGD TV tabs at the menu screen at thegolfdirector.com. For George Honeycutt, Hugh Roy III, and Adam Levine, we want to thank Jeff behind the glass, and we want to thank you for tuning in and joining us. There's more golf news and information coming up next.